Oh, so we're looking right over to the right, that little. Hey, everybody! Hi! I am here with my sweet soul friend, Torkin Wakefield, and she brought me here to show me the Bead for Life office up here in Gun Barrel, and I just wanted to take a, t a moment to applaud her, her spirit in this world, her creative openness to what will lift the world up, and we're gonna hear a little bit more about what they've got brewing here. So say something, well, and then I'll get to you, you th and Chris. Thanks for um, bringing us to your uh, Facebook Live moment. Um, my work is really with the um, extreme poor in Africa and beyond, and through the last 15 years, um, through our organization, Feed for Life, we've developed something called the Street Business School, which is the heart of what we do, which is to help the uh, impoverished women uh, learn how to become entrepreneurs, how to open and sustain small businesses, and therefore lift their entire family out of poverty. And we do this in several ways. Uh, we have our own six-month training program in Uganda where we train women to uh, in basic business skills as well as in uh, having confidence, having uh, letting their own potential grow, having a sense of empowerment. And we marry that with sound business practices like where is your business going to be? What are you going to name it? How are you going to know if you made a profit or a loss? How are you going to assure that your product is a high quality product? Concepts which are um, fundamental to a successful business. So women go through that six month program during which they open one, even sometimes two businesses and they eventually graduate and are able to support their families. And the second way w that we're doing uh, poverty eradication through Street Business School is we're training other nonprofit organizations uh, that uh, work in Africa right now to learn how to present Street Business School to their members. And with us is Chris Harper, who's so, our international trainer. I'm going to get director. out of the picture so I can focus completely on them and you can get to know the extraordinary, even though I only just met her, I know that's so, Chris. Okay, there we go. Okay, you're both on now. So Chris, tell us a little bit about what you're doing and what some of the goals are. The three, yes. Three business goals. So yes, what yes, we yes. do, as Torkin mentioned, is we provide our street business school to other nonprofits so that they too can reach out to those that they serve and eradicate poverty that way. So we bring them in for eight days, we train them through a workshop, and we teach them all of the secrets and all of the learnings that we've been fortunate enough to come across over the 14 years about how we can help people who live in extreme poverty come out of extreme poverty by starting their own business. So whatever the mission is for another organization, whether it's to um, support children, whether it's to stop deforestation, whether it's directly to support the poverty eradication, we teach them our street business school so that they can then run that system within their own community and bring their entire community as well as the base that they serve out of poverty. Isn't that brilliant? Women empowering the world. Here you've got Yay. two of them right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, and one of the wonderful things about uh, a woman who goes to the straight business school is she just, it's almost like she lights up. Mm. She becomes mm. confident. Mm. She um, sends her children to school. She feeds them properly. She invests back in her community. So each woman who mm -hmm. successfully comes out of poverty, she is a force to be reckoned with now. She's got, one woman said to me, I used to be a backdoor woman. Now I'm a front door <laughs> woman. And you can be certain that that woman's never going to be in the back door again. Again. <laughs> and what we see now through these organizations that we're training is they also gain that confidence. They gain mm -hmm. that confidence ah. on behalf of everyone that they serve. So they say, That's interesting. I can train the street business school. It doesn't have to just be direct through Beat for Life. They've shown me how. They've given me the confidence. They've given me the tools. Mm -hmm. So now we have this tremendous multiplier of how many people we're able to bring out of poverty through the street business school and through our training through our workshop, which is again an eight-day workshop that nonprofits come to, that they can go deliver it, they feel the confidence, mm -hmm. they can share that confidence with every person that they're then training. Brilliant. So actualizing the interdependent nature of what it means to be alive in this world. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. And this program is available to any nonprofit mm -hmm. in Africa now. Okay. Uh, we've been asked to go to other continents where really um, learning everything we need to learn about 
uh, helping the curriculum be adaptable through different cultures, um, in different situations, gender issues, economic mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we want to reach out to any nonprofits in Africa who might be interested in the street business school. Please feel free to reach out to us at Beat for Life. We have three three workshops coming up. Pardon me, two in March, two in June, two in September for 2018. A total of six workshops available. So we'd love for any nonprofit to come to our site, streetbusinessschool.org. Awesome. Also, will have it, and we'd love to see them yeah. pop in and register. So give some contact info. I'll type it in. So if anybody, if you're listening and you have, if you are interested, you can email me or private message me, and I'll put you in touch with these beautiful women. Uh, but just go ahead and say that the most direct route to be able to sign up for a workshop or to learn about our Street Business School is www.streetbusinessschool.org. Awesome. Thanks thank for having you. us. Yeah, Kimberly, thank you for bringing your beautiful <laughs> self to our offices this morning. My blessing. Mm.